It's difficult to sit here and listen to Sinn Féin pick holes in a budget when their own submission increased uh, current expenditure by 3.8 billion, a lot of it recurring annually. No importance attached to climate and biodiversity. In fact, the only mention of climate and environment are in the title of the department. No mention of a biodiversity crisis, no funding for retrofitting, only 25 million for walking and cycling versus 360 million in our budget for walking and cycling. That's committed to by this government. The Green Party has sought a number of measures to deliver change to a carbon neutral society because that is the existential threat facing us. It's also an economic threat as we move forward. I was phoned this morning by local businesses owners in Galway who are now looking at this budget and seeing the opportunities for them as we move forward into the future for their businesses through the funding that's been announced. Retrofitting homes close to 300 million, building warm, healthy and energy efficient houses, delivering 9,500 social housing units and 400 cost rental units which is key to the Green Party's housing policy. 1,500 spaces on retrofitting courses, part of a package of 10,000 upskilling and reskilling opportunities. We also need, needed to, take, to change the way our businesses and farms operate so that, that they can reduce their emissions and continue to operate. Crucial to the green recovery will be helping people to work near where they live. We are supporting the development of Wi-Fi hubs in our towns and villages. New environmental scheme for farmers, 20 million. Extension of tax relief for energy efficient equipment for farmers. I'm going to also speak about carbon tax. It is an essential part of preparing our economy for a carbon neutral future. To achieve this, the government commissioned the ESRI to outline the best way to use the money raised to reduce poverty. The Green Party insisted on the government implementing the measures outlined in the SRI report, which will improve the conditions of the lowest earning 30% of households. The SRI described these measures as, as unambiguously progressive, and the government has gone further with, with these social protection measures than the SRI even suggested was needed. Measures included are qualified child allowance, five euro for a child aged 12 and over, two euro for children under 12. Fuel allowance, three, three euro 50 a week increase. Living alone allowance, five euro a week increase. On top of that, there's been a lot of mention here of disability services. These are amongst our most vulnerable. A hundred million increase is the largest ever increase. We have the largest funding to our, to our health service ever. To, um, 9 billion to education, as has been mentioned, reducing class sizes. The INTO has welcomed all of these measures, and I think that it is quite cynical for parties to come in here and suggest that more could have been achieved when in their own submissions they have not outlined how that could be done. 